welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Today, we are gonna review very affordable kitchen gadgets. So in the world of kitchen appliances and gadgets, the money can be spent that you could spend is endless. $600, $700 on juicers and, and food processors. Yeah, sure, maybe everybody should have you know, a go-to food, food processor or something like that, but today I'm gonna highlight some very affordable things that I have found have been very handy in your kitchen. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this really cool avocado tool. $10 Canadian is what this cost. So we're gonna do a little test on that. My trusty Starfrit ch ch chopper, $19.95. And this really cool pineapple core. So I'm gonna show you how that works, that's $15. So what I could tell you is something like this, maybe you're only gonna use it a couple times a year. If you're a big avocado person, you might use this a couple times a week. And the chopper, you're definitely gonna use multiple times a week. So let's run it through some tests and I can show you how these work. So, stir frit chopper. So I just got a red onion here that I'm gonna cut into some chunks. Throw that in. And it's just a pull start. So very quickly you can see, very, very beautiful chopped onion. Now, the more you pull, the more fine that that's gonna get. But for right now, that's gonna show you no more tears, no more chopping for 15 minutes. That took about three seconds. Now I've got this monster, what my kids call dinosaur egg avocado. This tool has three functions. Has this blade, for going down the middle, has this fan, which I probably would use less, but for the purpose of the video, I'll show you how it works. But the best part of this tool, in my opinion, is this for the pit. Because all you avocado lovers out there know that avocado pits can sometimes be a little bit tricky to get out. This makes it very easy. So let's give this a run. So I've got a pretty ripe avocado here, and we're gonna push that blade down till we feel the pit, which I've done. So now, I've split that avocado open. So you can see good size pit here. So basically, we're just gonna give that a push. Now, I did push it initially, but the, the avocado's pretty ripe, so I pushed the pit in further. So give it a little smack, and you'll see, stuck on there. So normally, I would just use a spoon to pull out my, my avocado. But like I said, for the purpose of the video, we are going to use a fan and I'm gonna show you how this works. So, pulls out the, the avocado into those sort of fan shapes. If you're into that kind of thing, great. You can see here, it worked okay. This is a massive avocado. We'll try it again here. We'll pull it through. So it doesn't, the fan portion, in my opinion, does an okay job. Not an amazing job, an okay job. But I'll still use my spoon to clean out that inside of that avocado so that we don't waste it. Now, as most of you know, avocados tend to go brown quite quickly. Couple tricks to try to reduce that. Put in the pit back into your bowl and a little bit of lime or lemon juice will help uh, reduce that. I guess it's like an oxidization. So, I'm gonna just wash my hands here and we're gonna try that pineapple. pineapple time. This one I'm really excited to show you. I did buy this tool a couple weeks ago and I've tried it once and it worked really, really well. So essentially we're gonna wanna lop off the top of our pineapple. Now, pretty easy. You'll see the center portion here. You're gonna wanna line up in the center core, which obviously, as if you're a pineapple lover like I am, is, is not edible. So you're just gonna wanna put that, push that in there. And then we just start turning. Almost down to the bottom. All right, moment of truth. Now, you gotta be careful. The sharp edges on this are sharp. So now basically,
How amazing is that? So a little bit of mess, but not bad, a little bit of juice. So now the next question is, okay, well, how do you get it off this? Very simple, I'll show you. You pop that handle off there like that. You flip this over and carefully, you slide that off. So my only complaint, and it's not really a complaint, about this piece of equipment is that it spirals your pineapple, and you can see here, if I could do this gently, gives you that thickness. So if you're like me and I like to grill pineapple sometimes, normally I would cut my slices make like three quarters of an inch thick so that they can stand up to the barbecue and the grill. This is more, I'm gonna say like quarter to three eighths of an inch, but you can see, oh, it broke there. So you can see that's what that does. But if you look around here, Jamie, there's no of those little undesirable burrs or anything like that. Very, very little waste as you can see by looking inside. And the core obviously is not edible and that whole thing just goes into the garbage and you've got beautiful clean pineapple. Okay, so I just gave a quick clean on these three gadgets. Let's talk about them. The Starfrit, very, very versatile, multi-purpose. Uh, hard boiled eggs, I've done, I've chopped carrots in it. It could do a lot of different things. So for the price, $20 or $19.95, very, very, very great piece of equipment to have in your kitchen at a very good price. The pineapple corer, as you saw, does an awesome job, but it's one dimensional. It cores pineapples, that's it, but it does it very well. So for $15 to have that in your drawer and to be able to core a fresh pineapple, to me it's worth it. The avocado tool, three purposes on this, the blade, the fan, and the pit remover. So this part worked like a charm, very, very nice. It's plastic, it's not a knife, so it won't cut you if you slip. The fan, I don't know, I probably wouldn't use that. I would probably just spoon it with a, with, the, uh, with a spoon and then chunk it up or slice it however I like. It's a little bit messy doing it this way. The pit remover is worth its price in gold, in my opinion, for a seven or eight dollar item. To be able to just pop that pit, pit out in no time at all, very, very, very handy. So there you have it. Three awesome kitchen tools, under $20 each. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Super excited about my new cutting board here in the Average Kitchen. Check it out, beautiful, beautiful de design uh, from our logo that was uh, laser cut into this cutting board, you can see on both sides. So I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Tarwin Lane from Tarwin Lane Designs. She does laser etching on Yeti cups and all kinds of stuff, cutting boards, wooden spoons, you name it, she can do it. Check her out, we'll put a link to her Instagram on uh, this video, and she ships. So she can send you whatever you want, and get in touch with her, you won't be disappointed. Look at this beautiful job she did.